Keeps and patriotic performance lined up. To start with, I invite Sneha Meshwa to deliver a speech. Dunya mein goon raha hai, dunya mein Hindustan ka nara chamak raha hai, aasman mein ye tiranga hamara, ye tiranga hamara. Good morning and a very happy Independence Day to one and all present over here. Esteemed Chief Guest, Honorable Principal Sir, respected teachers, parents, and all my dear friends. Today, I, Sneha Meshwa of Standard 9th B, give my hearty, give my warm welcome to one and all on this auspicious occasion of 77th Independence Day of our beloved nation. First of all, I would like to give my hearty regards and salute to all those great heroes who suffered very hard and sacrificed their lives for the freedom of our nation. We must pay our heartfelt respect and salute to Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation, Nidhaji Subhash Chandra Bosch, Chandra Shekhar Azad, Lal Bal Bal, Shaheed Bhagat Singh and many more. We also cannot forget the great revolutionary heroes of our home state, Jharkhand, such as Bhagwan Birsa Munda, Buthu Bhagat, Sikh Bhikari and thousand others. All these great people devoted their hundred percent in the freedom of our country and were successful to make India free from the British colonialism. The British was ruled in our country for around 200 years and range away the most valuable resources from our nation. The British, uh, British are severely exploited by all Indians, socially, economically, and politically, by their exploitive and oppressive policies, but by the tireless and courageous efforts of the strong hearts and minds of our nation, we finally achieved independence on 15th August 1947. As we all know that our country has already completed 76 years of its independence and is celebrating the happy moment of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsa. During these last 76 years, our country has achieved remarkable development in the field of science, technology, industry, infrastructure, nuclear capability, energy production, etc. Today, India has become a superpower in information and communication technology. Now, our core vision is to excel in the field of science, technology, and innovation. Recently, on 14th of July 2023, ISRO has launched Chandrayaan 3 successfully, which establishes our stronghold in the field of space research. As we all know that our country had received a very poor and the most undeveloped economy from the Britishers in 1947. At that period of time, our national GDP was only Rs. 2.7 lakh crores which has now increased to rupees 135 lakh crores. Today, our country is the fifth largest economy in the whole world and on its way to become the third largest economy by 2031. Today, the per capita income of people of our country has reached to around rupees 2 lakhs, which was only rupees 250 in 1951. Our country has also achieved great excellence in the education sector during the post-independence. The literacy rate of our country has increased to 77%, which was only 18% in 1951. Today, there are 45 universities which have found place in the world ranking. Today, our nation has become the country of the youngest and the most powerful man skills. Today, the strong in the strongest countries of the world like USA consists of 38% doctors, 12% scientists, and 36% engineers from our beloved nation which is, of course, a great matter of pride for us. The most important thing which our country achieved during independence is its powerful defense system. Today, India is the fourth ranked strongest military in the whole world. India has always been a favorable hub of manufacturing for the foreign and multinational companies too. Even during the COVID pandemic, our country has received the highest foreign direct investment and supported the other countries by providing them the essential medicines and vaccines. In spite of all these great excellences, there are many challenges being faced by our nation. And the most important challenges are corruption, poverty, illiteracy, unemployment, along with the social and gender discrimination. The threats of terrorism and communalism still are the burning issues of our country. All these challenges are the major threats and obstacles on the way for the socio-economic and political development of our nation. In spite of all these excellences and all these challenges, our country still have many dreams and missions to, uh, to achieve. Now, our country has a dream of strong India, digital India, corruption-free India, and the most important, Atmanirbhar Bharat. Today, on this auspicious occasion of 77th Independence Day of our beloved nation, I would like to welcome and request one and all to unite as one, take hands and hands together, and to create such a nation where each and every person could thrive to achieve his or her success. Where each and every person could 
live harmoniously, peacefully and lovingly. At last, but not the least, I would like to conclude my words with a few golden lines which are De salami is tirangi ko, de salami is tirangi ko jisse teri shan hai Sar hamesha uncha rakhna iska, sar hamesha uncha rakhna iska Jab tak jis me me jaan hai, jab tak jis me me jaan hai Thank you, Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Pai Thank you so much Neha, the boldness in your voice shows your motivation, dedication and devotion towards our country and motivators to do the same. Currency pe papu ki photo, lal kile pe tiranga, sadko pe bharat mata.